It is all I want. It's all I need. It's everything. It's everything. <laughs>answer and just say um i spiritually prepare to worship lead by being alive i do my best um to not just i guess let the this the spiritual gifts that i believe that i have need uh, a platform or a run sheet to be in action the idea for me is that when I get to that point where I'm going to be worship leading in a service, the preparation has been happening all along. It's really important to build relationship with your your music directors and the other people on your team that isn't exclusive to a platform or a rehearsal. When you have like a relationship that's exclusive to the platform, um, then that means that's the only place that you can gain or lose relational equity with someone. And so that means that every single mistake you make as an MD like ruins your relationship with the worship leader, which is just not true. But the thing is, is that you actually, if you're actually in relationship with that person, every service is not a make or break for your future relationship. It is okay uh, to find your feet for yourself. There is the most obvious pathway that you can take, the Google Maps pathway of worship leading. But then there also is the back roads kind of way that you can take as well. But I think that before you can take the back roads, you need to be able to take that really clear pathway really, really well. If you can learn to do that and you can build trust and rapport with your congregation, um, they'll follow you through those, those, those back roads. A oldie but a goodie, a song called Everything by a great band that we all know called Lifehouse. And it is all I want. It's all I need. It's everything. It's everything. I was like, this song is dope. And I want to write songs like this. The first song that I ever learned on any instrument was Stairway to Heaven by Led Zeppelin. The reason being is that my cousin learned a song called Dust in the Wind by Kansas. And I was really jealous. And I thought, I'm going to learn this song because it seems cooler and I'm going to outdo him. I um, try to get a sense of what kind of service it is. Is it a Sunday morning? Is it a Sunday night? What kind of new songs do we have in the life of church? Um, who the team is that's rostered? Um, and also, do I lead worship at that location often? Like, do I have trust and rapport with that congregation? And then kind of bringing all those things together to um, see uh, where kind of the light and shade in a song list can be. Also, uh, I think how you start a song list and how you finish a song list are paramount. Being able to envision all those moments um, and then kind of build out from there. You have to get to a place where you don't have anything to prove. A lot of the kind of things that comparison will stir up in you is that you will see um, what someone else is doing and think, well, that's what success must look like. That's what great worship leading must look like. But what's crazy is then um, you start trying to run in someone else's lane or wear someone else's shoes or at worst operate in someone else's gifting. Um, and it doesn't work because you're trying to fit yourself into a form that's not your own. And so I think um, when you can lead from a place of security, it frees you up to be yourself and to bring what only you can bring. 